G'day Beaks, Tech here. I'm now starting my 60th year in beekeeping. Welcome to my channel. As from 2022, I will be only producing bee vlogs. So, come along and join me on my beekeeping adventures, working my bees. Yeah, these two hives you see in front, uh, I'll be checking on those today and uh, the far one uh, looks like it might have a bit of chalk brood so uh, we'll be going into that and checking it. If you look at the two entrances you can see that the one on our left is the bees are a lot more active than what they are on the hive on the right where I'm smoking now. In my area there is generally a dearth in December and January each year. This year it is still going on in February. Chalk brood disease generally appears when hives come under stress or for prolonged wet weather. This hive has got the worst disease in my 60 years of beekeeping. The queen is only a few months old. All the other queens and hives of the same queen are good. For this particular hive, the chalkboard has really taken over one, two, three, four, five, six, six frames out, out of ten frames that has chalkboard disease, mummies in the brood. So, what do you do with it? Right, so the first thing we do, we, we've got to find the queen and cage her. Subscribe to learn more. Every frame is checked looking for the queen so that I can cage her. There she is on the floor there. I've got to get, got to get her. There she is. Now to place her in a cage. The old uh, hive has moved out of the road and uh, we're going to transfer her back into it with a nuke. Uh, with, this, with this nuke here I'm going to take uh, two frames or a frame of uh, brood and bees out and transfer it into that uh, new nuke that I'm, I've got over yonder. That's uh, two frames of uh, fresh brood and bees that I've put in and I'll uh, put another couple of uh, frames in. This particular one is a clean frame so that'll go in. The cage queen is now being placed on the frames. Biggest can't be choose is with this excluder. It's the only one I've got on board, but I'll have to use it to keep them fairly tight. Release the queen now. All right, putting all putting this super on. I'm now proceeding to shake all the bees from the chalk brood infected frames into this particular hive. It will take until dusk for all the bees to orientate back to this particular hive. Now adding 
a couple of part frames of honey to build up the stores in the new nuke. I am a great believer in all my hives having sufficient food for their needs. The frames in the honey soup have been equalised and I'm now putting in the small hive beetle trap. The beetle trap uh, cover is now being uh, fitted on top. So what I've done, I've reduced uh, this uh, page 11 back to a uh, double nuke and put fresh brood with no disease in it. So we'll see how the experiment goes. All, the, all these frames here will be uh, put into a super and put on the hive over yonder. That hive there is very, very strong and uh, they should clean the chalk root out within a few days. Stop. I can tell by the uh, groan of the motor just how much honey is in these two particular supers. I consider that they are nearly full of honey. Yeah, there's a lot of chalk brood uh, cells, white and black, so you've got uh, early and late stage uh, chalk brood disease in this particular frame. All the other frames are similar. So we have uh, seven frames that has uh, some chalk brood disease in them, so uh, we'll see how long it takes for this hive to uh, clean them out. We'll check on it in about three or four days time. So that's uh, Super 11 that's uh, put on just above the excluder and we'll check it in the uh, next uh, few days. So this uh, H11 Hive has now been reduced to a double uh, nucleus four frame hive. So H11 is now uh, 33. G'day Beaks, uh, Tech here. I tried to get back to this particular hive with the chalk brood experiment after I uh, placed the uh, chalk brood frames in, in, the middle, in the super just above the excluder. But uh, because of the rain, it's now seven days, so I'm going into it now. It's the first sunny day that we've had. Now doing a preliminary check to see how many chalk root mummies are still left in the cells.
this is two of the frames and as you can see here that uh, there's uh, no chalk root in, in the frames same on this one here this, this is the middle middle frame and there's uh, only a couple of spots of uh, chalk root in this particular frame and on this side here this is the only frame that's got any chalk root in it all these frames up here there's uh, only a little bit of chalk root in here all clean at that end same here it's all good so they've all but cleaned the whole seven frames out all clean thanks for watching all clean ready to put honey in the tea tree is just starting to flower down here that's it's honey it's fresh nectar that's been put in please like subscribe and click the belt in my channel to help it grow so i'm uh, very happy with the with the uh, with the experiment another couple of days and uh, i would say the total chalk brood disease will be fully taken out of all the cells ready to put honey in mm -hmm.